Hi guys, welcome back to the Essential Fly. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at the Stone 4 Transformer Vice. Um, a really, really good vice. Um, it's pretty much three vices in one. We have a rotary inline vice, um, a tube fly vice and a streamer vice. All changeable with basically one click, just as it says on the box. Um, let's open it and take a look and we'll talk about all the features, benefits and what you get included in the box. Okay, so let's take a look at what we get included in this box. Um, it's pretty much a box full of all different kind of goodies for, you know, a fly tyre. When you open this box, you will just be amazed at what you get included. Um, so as we open the box, we get the user manual, which includes, you know, all the bits of necessary, you know, maintenance, how to look after it and whatnot. Um, the stem of the vice, which attaches to the base. A really nice heavy pedestal base um, which has these grips all on the bottom so your vice isn't going to slip around on the table. And then in this box here is where you find all your bits of tools and essential bits of kit. Um, we have the, the base of the um, stem, which you attach that to the base and then pop the stem in. We'll show you how to put that back together later on. You get two Allen keys for to make your own adjustments to make it however you know sturdy you want it. Little bits of attachments. This um, is a parachute clip, which will show you how to put that together later on. And then there's the three vice heads. This is the inline rotary. And we'll show you how to put these together and how to change them. We've got the streamer head. And the tube fly. Also included is all your tube fly um, pin attachments in, in this handy little um, carry case so you're not going to lose them. We've got a bobbin cradle which again like the parachute clip we'll go into a little bit more detail about that later on. And this is how we attach the bobbin cradle and parachute attachments. Um, Again, we'll show you that later on. So let's take a look at how we put all this together. Okay, so to start off with, we need the base, the large Allen key, and the attachment that you attach the stem to. And we basically need to put this onto this bit here. It's really simple to do. Um, I found the easiest way is just to flip the pedestal base on the side, pop the large allen key in this hole here, flip it round so it's on an angle and then simply just screw screw the base of the, the um, device onto there so it's nice and tight. So, and then we need the stem of the vise, which is this bit here, and we just simply unscrew the locking nut, <coughs> pop the stem in, and tighten it up, and you're good to go. Let's take a look at how we attach the three different vice heads to the vice. So first of all, we have the um, ball bearing design, which you'll notice on each of the heads we have um, ridges, which when you pull back the lever to pop the vice in, as soon as they're in place, 
it locks straight in place and it's good to go. Really simple, really quick, really efficient. Um, you can change how much, you know, how quick the rotation is just by twisting the um, twisting the nozzle on the front of the vise. Uh, as you can see, this is quite loose. It will, you know, go quite quickly. Um, I like mine just to be not fully um, locked in place, but just enough so that I can move the vise um, at different points of when I'm tying the fly. Um, to remove, pretty simple, same as when you put it in, pull the lever back, pop the vise head out, and then for the streamer vise, when, you, when you're popping them in, the writing, the stone for writing, is always facing you. So again, pop it in place and it's going to lock straight in place there. Really quick and simple. And it's the same for the tube fly attachment. Slide back, pop it in place. And just there, you've seen how quick and easy it is just to do change from one vice head to another really quickly. Okay, so let's talk about how we pop a hook in the vise. Um, a really simple and easy task. Simply take your hook. Um, demonstration purposes, we've got a size 12. You, depending on your hook size, you will need to change the um, tightness of the jaws, which is done so by just twizzling that, just to make sure that it's all nice and secure. Pop the hook into the jaws, and then with the bottom lever here, we just simply pop it up and the hook is now in place and as you can see that's not slipping anywhere. Um, if you keep it from you know the hook across to the um, joint here, once that's in line um, that's when you get the full rotary um, benefits. So once you tie in, if you're tying anything in, you simply pop your material, tie it in and wind it round and you're good to go. Again, we've got the material clip here uh, for wires, tinsels, anything else that you just want moving out of the way. Pop it into this little clip and it's out of the way for you. Uh, let's take a look at how we attach a streamer hook or a big game fly hook. Okay, so we've shown you how to pop a trout grayling fly um, hook in the vise, um, but you've decided you want to tie some, you know, salmon fly, big streamer flies. Um, so I've changed to the streamer head. Um, so when you tie, when you pop the vice in, a good note to point is the Stonefall writing is always facing you. Um, again, to change the adjustment of the draw jaws, you just um, unscrew or tighten um, this little nozzle here, and that will allow you to pop the hook in the vice. So as you can see, we've got a size two. We pop it in the vice. And then just like the other one, we just lock it in place with the lever and you're good to go. Um, again, we can, you know, rotate it around whether you need to change angle from where you're tying in. Um, again, we can change how smooth that is, how tight it is, how loose it is, just by twisting the nozzle on the front side of it. So, we've got the vice ready. The thread cradle is in place and this is the attachment that you're going to need to pop on the long bit here. Really simple to do, you unscrew it so that the hole is clear, slide it down just to in line with the tip of the vice head and then when you're tying your flies while you, you could be winding hackle round you simply pop your thread just over the, the cradle it's out of the way, it's not going to get tangled, you're not going to catch it on any hook points and simply when you're ready to move it, you unhook your thread and you can move that out of the way. Really, really simple. The other um, feature that this tool does is it is a parachute clip. So if we take the thread cradle off, so this handy tool here, which is um, the clip to clip on the parachute, the wing post, and then you have the spring. So we simply quickly take it out, it pops on the downwards 
pull, slide it down, and it's directly over your, um, your where your hook would be. And we simply take this just like we did with the thread cradle, slide it on, lock it into place, and then you can clip that onto your parachute post, hold it in place while you're winding your hackle around so that you, your post isn't going to swivel and it's all locked in place nice and sturdy. Um, as I can say, you can adjust whether, you know, the size of the fly you're tying, you might need to go a little bit higher to hold it in place. A really cool bit of kit, um, really helpful. As I said earlier, it's a really technical vice. Um, and if you're an angler who, you know, ties all manner of flies, whether it be from small size 24, little dry flies, right up to big streamers and other big game fish flies and this is certainly advice that you should be looking at. Um, you'll save a lot of time with the interchangeable vice heads and it's just an all round really good vice. Okay, so the base, we have a nice, as we said earlier, a nice heavy pedestal base. Um, and as you see, we've got a tool caddy, so you can pop your scissors, your dubbing needle, whatever tools that you use when you're tying in these nice little slots here, all easy to hand. Um, we've got two pouches where you can pop your beads, your hooks, um, anything that you're tying your flies with. Um, also, when you're not using your vice heads, these will actually pop into the holes just like so. So you've got them all nice to hand, um, everything's easy to grab, um, easy to change, a really well designed vice, um, we definitely recommend it like we said earlier, for anyone who ties all manner of flies, certainly a vice that you should look at.